CM Punk, little toxic ass, got fired. That's what the fuck he get. Fuck Jungle Boy too, but that's what the fuck he get. He been a fucking put his ass in the women's division, bro. Been a diva since the make bro been look strong comment, bro. It's called doing your fucking job. The fuck, you know how many motherfuckers Brock Lesnar may look strong and he know he's stronger than them. It's called doing your fucking job. He just made Cody look strong and he knows he fucking can break Cody. And Cody and his whole family knows that as well. It's called doing your fucking job. The fuck? WWE Payback, super predictable. Becky Lynch, nigga. Bruh, she wins damn near every few she's in, bruh. The fuck? Who gives a fuck, bruh? All Becky matches are predictable. And don't y'all ever notice when her and Seth wrestles like on the same night, it this like, look, when, when Bianca and Montez be on the same show, one of the other loses and the other one wins. When Seth and Be- Becky be on the same show, both of them damn near wins or loses the same show every fucking time. It's so predictable, bro. I don't give a fuck when Seth Rollins wrestles, bro. He should have been dropped the world title. Both world champions can't hold the belts for years, bro. That's what made WCW interesting. You had seven-day, one-day reigns. Two week reigns. That shit sounded corny and weird and sound like you hot potato, but at the end of the day, it gave wrestling a new feel. It gave the show the unpredictability. When you sitting there watching it and motherfucking six months later, every six months, it'll kind of chill. Uh, uh, seven months for the tag titles to switch. Oh, five months for the women's title, bruh. It's no shock value for none of the belts, bruh. Everything's locked in and sold in, and that's bullshit because then you're getting repeat shit for months and months and months and months. I ain't saying you got a hot potato and everything, but still. WWE Payback, Miz versus LA Knight, who gives a fuck? John Cena hosted, was the ref, who gives a fuck? Um, Real Ripley retains. Shout out to Big Dog Riri. All right, doing what she's supposed to do. Judgment Day won the tag team titles. They should have been won the tag titles. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn is boring as fuck. Cody Rose presents the analysis that Jay Uso has returned and he's coming back to Raw. I mean, that's good for Jay. New music, whatever, whatever. Why the fuck? Cody got announced and Cody, where the fuck you think you going? You stick your punk ass on motherfucking Raw. Don't nobody want to see you finish no fucking story. Fuck you and that story. Fuck the father bullshit. Who gives a fuck? Your dad is a mid-carter. You're a mid-carter. Next, nigga. Um, next. Um, EO, uh, Sky, what the fuck they going to do with you, bro? They starting to, you sound like a placeholder champion right now, bro. Where, where your fuse at? Where yo? come on now. What the fuck? But yeah, I'm glad everybody in judgment, they got gold. The fuck? That's the least y'all could love a Finn Balor after a propping him up to be a future heavyweight champion just to stick him in back in the tag division. As soon as I said stick him back in the tag division, it just hit me. They did Finn Balor the same way that they did um, Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns. He thought he was going to win the world title. Stuck him straight in the tag division. Finn Balor thought he was going to beat Seth Rollins for the world title. Stuck him straight in the tag division. Hell, even at one point, wasn't Sasha Banks supposed to fight Ryan Rousey or some shit? Then they stuck them in the tag division with Naomi, and they was going to have them versus each other, some stupid shit like that on Raw, some shit the next week, and then they quit or some shit like that. Yeah, it's like a big rinse and repeat formula with WWE. Even Drew McIntyre was a former heavyweight champion. Where is he right now? In the fucking tag division with Matt Riddle. What the fuck is up with that shit, WWE? Y'all don't book the tag division strong whatsoever. But then you build wrestlers up just to have them lose and throw their ass right in the tag division. Ain't that really how Kevin Owens got there? One, he just faced a Roman Reigns. Not even a year ago for the World Heavyweight title, and now he's firmly in the tag division. Well, what the fuck is for that boy, Dabby at Breeze? Dude got a whole briefcase. Is the tag titles more important than the briefcase? I'm confused. He should have fucking won the fucking world title first, then the fucking tag titles. I don't even understand wrestling no more, bro. Like, I'm confused with the whole briefcase. And I hope when nobody in their right mind, 
expecting a motherfucking Raquel uh, Rodriguez or Gonzalez, whatever the fuck she want to go by, the Lopez, who gives a fuck? Whatever the fuck she want to go by today, I hope y'all would. Yeah, right by really thinking she was going to win a motherfucking title on Big Riri. Y'all crazy as shit. The fuck? She put Kevin Owens on a pack the other day. Yes, sir. Loved it. Loved it. Man, I ain't really much to say, bro. Fuck WWE payback. It's a rinse and repeat fucking pay per view, bro. We done see this nigga retains predictable LA night of bro. You really think nigga they was gonna fucking try to end his push like that with me with, with the fucking Miz? Nigga, you knew Miz was gonna lose, bro. Miz done fucking lost the Bobby Lashley. Miz done put everybody in their fucking mama over, bro. We already know what the fuck time that was predictable as fuck and they probably still ain't got shit for LA night afterwards Austin Theory get a rematch just to lose good because he sucks anyway now get him the fuck out the United States title picture period put him in some tag work or some shit bro this nigga's trash bro cut your losses bro he not it and before y'all get too hyped up Grace the Waller trash too I don't give what the fuck anybody seeing his ass stupid ass fucking finisher stupid look stupid personality Stupid kangaroo-ish bullshit, kangaroo Australian Jackie boo. I don't give a fuck, bro. Character weak as shit, bro. The fuck? Y'all better I'll fucking break it up Pete Dunn from the Barlow and Bruce and pushing him or putting fucking Mr. I'ma injure you fucking uh uh fucking Ridge Highland and giving him a solo hill run or I don't know what the fuck to do, but anything's better than watching the Grayson Waller effect, bro. Shit, where the fuck is y'all doing with Karrion Cross, bro? The fuck? Bro got a unique look. And yeah, he sits there on the roster fucking in catering or some shit all the fuck week doing fucking absolutely nothing. I don't understand it. What else supposed to happen to payback? Man, I'm out. Trash ass pay-per-view. I'm out.